Well, 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 we are finally back another Borderlands 3 build. I know I've not said those words in a while, and I want to take a second to explain where I've been at and why I have been posting as much, and on top of that, just not posting as much Borderlands 3 builds. Number one is that I've actually been going back and forth a lot. I have not been in my normal setup location for a little while now, been traveling back and forth. Number two, I also got pretty sick and no it's not what you think of i am vaccinated but i had to deal with that on top of obviously going back and forth the number three i've also been trying to battle with my anxiety getting better with that with all of those combined together on top of that somehow number four i actually have gotten a girlfriend uh over the time so i've been spending time with her but obviously combining all that together it's definitely going to take a toll on what i can post but hopefully soon or maybe even starting now things are going to be back to normal you're going to see borderlands builds some more destiny videos and especially covering wonderlands and witch queen which i'm super super excited for still oh and on top of that i forgot to mention i'm also somewhat in the process of moving as well so you might see a new setup sooner or later but with all that aside let's move on to the build and if you did listen to all that just know you're a true fan i really really do love you and thank you for all the support but for the build this is going to be a updated level 72 sandhawk amara as you know there are community challenges now that's going on in the game and this week's is happens to be sniper kills and on top of that they also went out and recently buffed every sniper in the game just to do more damage so that is also going to really really play into this build the borderlands community is currently crushing the sniper kills but i wanted to make a build for everyone who needs a build just to actually go out and farm sniper kills if they want to participate in the community event and also on top of that this is still one of Mars best builds in the game it's going to be able to let you cover any content that you need to and you're going to be able to just have a blast with it and as always these builds are located in my discord channel if you would like to download them link to the discord will be in the description and if you download you'll enjoy finds video helpful in any way consider subscribing and dropping a like it really helps me out my channel and our community grow by getting these videos out there for everyone to see i truly appreciate it but without further ado let's get right into this build all right so starting off obviously this is going to be a sniper race build that's based on the sandhawk so we're going to have all sandhawks right here but the things that are important are the elements and the anoints on them so as you see we have shock corrosive incendiary obviously you know these are the main types of enemies in the game shock does really good against shields corrosive does really good against armor and then incendiary does really good against flesh now the anoint i have on the shock and corrosive one are killing an enemy grants 13 percent weapon damage and reload speed for 25 seconds this affects stacks this is really really good for mobbing you get a lot of damage increase and reload speed so you're going to be able to just to instantly reload the sniper rifle which is really good because if you don't know the sandhawk shoots very very fast and does a lot of damage so having these on these two is going to be really good for the takedowns because you're going to stack up a lot of the stuff and be able to just insta kill bosses then for the incendiary one i have a phase cast anoint so you could just instantly pop a face cast to get 250 percent damage for anything in the game but obviously this is really good on farming things like grave ward if you need to farm grave ward still now also have a emp5 on top of that if you don't know obviously when you have the emp5 out you're going to sprint a little faster and that's all i'm using it for just to get around the map uh the main weapons are obviously going to be the sandhawk and while i'm here if you don't know all of my sandhawks are going to have a single fire option as you see it has burst fire but you can change it to semi-auto and i prefer semi-auto on every doll weapon because if you don't know the way this works when you have it in semi-auto you actually do get a damage increase compared to if it's fully auto or burst fire and i like having semi-auto and just being able to spam it uh, instead of having full auto but if you want to get a full auto version it will also still work very very well now for shield we're going to be using the revolter this probably comes to a shock to nobody no pun intended but on axis skill star activate any effects that trigger on shield breaker fill this is gonna you know make you shock and rage get gonna get more fire rate more damage which obviously works really really well with the sandhawk you're gonna be able just to melt everything in one shot and if it's a bigger enemy you're like one to two shots now for class mod phase zerker phase zerker is still just one of amara's best class mods you get max rush stacks when you use your axe skill you get a additional five rush stacks and you're going to get weapon damage and action skill cooldown rate with your rush stacks as well this is also giving you more splash damage sniper damage and doll weapon critical hit damage which obviously is insanely good for sandhawk because sandhawk does do splash damage it's obviously a sniper rifle and it is a doll weapon to get the crit damage now grenades i have an it's piss so i can just throw it and apply a little debuff on an enemy but i do have all five axe skill and elements whenever you need to swap to any then i have a doll company man to get more doll fire rate damage or low speed this is really really good as well for dps with the sandhawk and it also is giving you melt chance and like execute chance that doesn't matter that much but obviously it can apply your elements a little bit better which is really really cool then i have another artifact cup purse launch pad just this is going to let you refill your ammo since the sandhawk is the only gun you're using and it does consume ammo a lot this you could just equip melee enemies or slam the ground and the rockets are going to come out and refill your ammo really really strong you're just going to have infinite ammo for one of the best weapons in the game that also recently just got buffed 
and it is insanely strong moving on to the skill tree this is just going to be a pretty much generic uh amara setup we have five and do harm so all our rush attacks are going to give us more axial damage which does work with taz the bomb which we're going to be using to just insta kill the chained enemies freaking fast hands gives some more reload speed weapon slot speed and emotion speed just makes the play style of amara a little bit easier one of out tapestry to help keep rush stacks up three and transcend so we can actually crew play damage whenever you use our action skill this is insanely good obviously for a sniper rifle you're going to have the sandhawk be a really really tight spread and just do a lot of crit damage then two and alacrity so our rush tax going to give us more reload speed this actually is pretty good as well for the sandhog one and ascendant so we can buff whatever augment we're using i like to run stillness of mine just because it makes it really easy for a sniper to build everything it just locks up in the air together and you can just one shot everything three and late bear so enemies take increased damage whenever our action skill hits an enemy again this does work with ties up on the chain enemies will take 25 percent increased damage three and wrath so we get more gun damage and 20 percent more even after we use our action skill again just a bunch of gun damage three and awakening so we can buff all our rush attack effectiveness by 30 percent which is also really really good one in remnant so we get a overkill orb so whenever you kill an enemy you essentially give a spawn orb that's going to go out and kill a second enemy so you essentially get two kills for one then one in avatar so we get 10 more rush attacks and we can pop axel twice for a cooldown so two ties that bond is going to be insanely good for ad clear now offensive elements i have three in steady hands to get more handling and accuracy this is also really good for the sand hawk to tighten the spread up and just make the play style of it a little bit easier i have two in anima just to get down to the bottom but five and tempest so it can buff our elements to damage by 30 percent and shock damage by 20 percent i think i like to do is always use the shock for my mobbing then have a radiation uh axe skill and annoying and then also run the cryo axe skill element so you can slow things, make things blow up like crazy, and you're getting a lot of damage because this is also giving you additional shock damage. That's pretty much the main thing I run for ad clear. Now I have one point illuminated fist to get more melee damage, but this also is gonna help proc things like sustainment, which we'll get to in a second. But I have five and wildfire to get to the bottom. This is also gonna make your status effects be able to spread, which does help with things like Harmageddon and your guardian rank. Then one in dread, so whenever we phase grasp an enemy, we get 15% more damage. And when you kill that enemy, your gun is going to be instantly reloaded, which is nice. One in deep well, so all our elemental weapons have 20% more magazine sides. Obviously, all our sandhawks are elemental. One in catharsis to get down to the bottom, but this is also going to make your enemies explode when you kill them, which will help with the AoE to build because this does get mayhem scaling. Three in indiscriminate, so all our bullets can ricochet. You're going to be able to just act clear an insane amount with this skill. Then one, it's the same. This is what I was talking about. So Amara gains life still whenever she deals elemental damage with her weapon. This also does work with Illuminated Fist, so you can go melee an enemy. And when you have things like Groundbreaker stacked up a ton of damage, you're just going to get max health when you go melee an enemy, which is really nice. Then two in Conflux, just again to get down to the bottom. But this will apply a different status effect, which again can also help with Armageddon. But then one in Forceful Expression, so we get 18% bonus elemental damage based on our damage dealt. So this is also going to apply to your Axe element. So again, I'm running Cryo. So now my sandhawk is not only again with the radiation accidentally exploding it's also slowing with cryo and the shock damage is doing a lot just because it's the shock version and you are going to have access to all axe elements and like i said all axe go in elements so if you're farming a specific boss you can obviously change your element to whatever is going to be really good against that boss and then your axe go element as well but now going into brawl i have three in personal space so we get 54 percent bonus damage the closer we are to an enemy i know this is a sniper build but you can still get insanely close with the sandhawk and you're going to get even more damage bonuses two in root terrace will get 16 percent more max health then three in help enhance i had some points left over so whenever you use your axe skill you get 28 percent damage reduction which can help with the survivability of this build and finally in enlightened force i have five in trusting yourself they get 20 percent more reload speed 40 percent charge speed and 80 percent weapon slot speed whenever your shield breaks obviously the revolter is based all around your show breaking but this just goes hand in hand with revolter you're going to get a lot of bonuses which is really really nice then five and heavy rain so we get more projectile speed and splash damage this is obviously really really good for the sand hawk because it's going to make the hawk itself travel even faster do more damage because it does do splash damage and with all your other accuracy bonuses you're going to basically make your little sand hawk into just one bullet itself and you're going to be able just to insta kill so many enemies with it but yeah guys that is pretty much the build like i said i will have this in my discord if you want to download it this should also help out with the community event of getting the sniper kills so we can unlock all the cosmetics and also this is just going to be an insanely good build it is like i said a level 72 updated sand hawk build so like it's obviously going to be really really good uh, it can cover everything in the game and you can have a blast with it hopefully but that's going to offer me and again i really hope things are going to be back to normal soon i can constantly post videos about everything and thank you guys for sticking around and waiting it really really means a lot to me and i love each and every single one of you but thank you all so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one peace